Good morning guys, how are y'all doing today? And welcome into the life of a vegan triathlete. Today is Sunday, July 22nd, I believe. Today I have two workouts, I have church. Obviously it's the weekend, so that's when I do my long uh, distance training, and that's what we're doing too today. So I'm just gonna bring you guys into my live, showing you what I eat, how I'm training, what I'm doing to recover, and just what I do in a day of being a vegan triathlete living in Vancouver. So we're gonna first start off the morning with a morning smoothie which is my pre-workout meal for every single workout no matter if i do one or two trainings so let's head over to the kitchen i'll show you guys what i put in there so actually it's going to be quite loud because we have the dehydrator going on right now there's some garlic and carrots and a whole bunch of stuff that we like to make uh, to put on top of our salad so uh, i'm just going to put music over and you guys can see what i'm putting in the blender about to leave already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Yeah, so usually every morning I start with meditation, but I already did that before I made my smoothie just because I want to start my morning off without having my phone, without having done anything, just centering myself and then I can go on with my day. Like I said, it's Sunday morning, so everybody is sleeping. So usually when I have my breakfast, I love to either watch some YouTube videos, listen to an audio book, or read a book like this one, Principles by Ray Dalio. It's an awesome book. Uh, so I'm going to do that for the next 45 minutes. Because in 45 minutes, I'm going to start my training at 8.30 because I'm going to be outside on my bike trainer and you're only allowed to start making noise at 8 a.m. on the weekend on Sunday. So I'll start till at 8.30. It uh, doesn't make that much noise, but just enough that I feel like it can, uh, I could be in trouble for it. So I'm going to wait for 8.30, jump and do an hour and a half on the bike. So I'll see you guys once it's 8.30. Alright guys, it's time to start training. It's currently 8.35, so a little bit later than I wanted. But I've set up my bike on the bike trainer. I have my coconut water and my Kangen water. This is my setup to make my wheel go higher. I put it under the chairs. Um, yeah, and then I have my laptop here. Connected to my headphones. I'm going to watch a little Netflix movie because it's really low pace. It's uh, 10 minutes in zone 1, 10 minutes in zone 3, and then alternating for a year, uh, a year and a half, for an hour and a half. And then it's off to the pool. So I'm just going to set up the camera somewhere, film the whole thing in a time lapse, and I'll check in with you guys once I'm done. Don't doubt. All right guys, the workout is complete. An hour and a half of steady biking, and now it's time to eat some fat balls. So it's basically a mix of, what is it? <laughs> coconut oil, cacao powder, coconut nibs, hemp seeds, and coconut flakes. Yeah, so it's basically just high source of fat to um, help me have more fat so I can use that as a source of energy for my training. I'm gonna eat a, two of those, and then I'm gonna head over to the pool. All right guys, so what I'm gonna have is these guys. So those are, ha um, fat balls to so what I just mentioned I put them in ice cube trays I have a video <coughs> on my Instagram story um, channel of how to make these guys it's a great source of fuel in between workouts so I'm just gonna eat this and I had one of those little tiny bananas I'm um, just to show you how big they are they're super tiny so I just had one of those and I'll have these guys and I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro I have to try to film in the pool if my GoPro doesn't die all right, what's up guys? I'm at the aquatic center and as you can see the pool is absolutely empty I think there's like three people here, which is amazing. So I'm gonna start my warm-up 
Um, and let's see where I can put this. All right, now that my warm-up is complete, I did 100 meters back and forth, so just swimming. 100 meters of just kicking with the paddle board. 100 meters of pulling with the buoy. 100 meters of just swimming. Now it's time to get into the main set, which is 400 meters pull, swim, pull. And then we're gonna do that three times. So for a total of 1,200 meters. And then we have 200 meter cool down. Let's do it. Alright guys, workout is complete. <clears throat> I swam 1600 meters and now I have 200 meters of cool down. So basically, going really slow, stretching my shoulders, lowering my heart rate. And then we're done for today. Two workouts complete. So I'll just check in with you guys once I get back to the apartment. Alright guys, I made it back home. Now what's important after a big workout, it is post-workout nutrition, what you're putting into your body to fuel the recovery and fuel the rest of your day. So I'm gonna make a smoothie that's similar to the one I had this morning. I'm just gonna add some hemp oil into it because it's a perfect balance of omega-3 and omega-6, which is anti-inflammatory. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of protein powder to it and one tablespoon more of Vitago. That's the only difference from my smoothie in the morning. So I'm not gonna show you guys the gangs I already showed you, but just same thing, more protein and a little bit more fat. So uh, I'll see you guys once it's done. All right guys, I'll be honest, I drank that whole smoothie like right after I made it. I don't know, I was super hungry. Um, and then I did some stretching and now what I like to do after every workout session is, sort of scale, the kale is stuck in my teeth. Yeah. I like to take a cold bath for 20 minutes just to help with uh, get rid of lactic acid. So I'm gonna go do that and then get ready for church. <laughs> 